All right, what's on the bench? Um, I'm going to give you a pro tip today, okay, for free. <laughs> um, so if you have a, a nano DNA or spectrum analyzer and stuff, and you want to do a calibration, a through calibration, okay, you've got, uh, let's see, let me grab a couple of cables here. So let's say these two cables are going to your VNA and you want to uh, do a through calibration. Now, uh, first of all, yours, yours are going to look like this and they're going to be hard, hard to do with your, with your finger and everything. So uh, get some of these wheels. Okay, I'll put a link down below. So, uh, so you want to do through calibration. So, oh man, it's on the ground. <laughs> All right, let me emphasize again, this is a pro tip. I'm a pro. <laughs> so anyway, um, so you have to connect these guys and they're not always that easy to do. So you connect this one and then you connect this one, okay? And make sure they're tight. So there you go. And then you do your through calibration, okay? Really good. And then you disconnect one of them and then you, then you, can't grab this stupid thing. It, it you can't you can't do it. It's really really hard to get this little bugger off of there. Okay, now that's kind of the ones you'll always see. It's just round everywhere, right? You can get ones that look something like this, and these have a tiny little flat spot on them. Okay, so when these are in there and they're super tight, you can kind of reach in here maybe with some with some diagonal pliers and kind of try to grab that little slot there. But yeah, that's a pain in the butt too. All right. Now for a long time, I had this one and I don't know where it came from, but it was a roundy one, but it was fat in the middle and it had a big flat on it. Okay. And this big flat, uh, was the same. No, nope. see it fail, right? It's not the same, not the same, uh, size as your wrench, right? So you can't even use this one with a wrench. It'd be nice if it was fat and you can grab it with a wrench, right? So that one was a fail too, although it was better because I could sort of get my fingers on here and if I grabbed it really hard and, and hurt my finger, I could get it apart. All right, uh, but guess what I found online? I found these, these, look at that, look at that. And guess what? Guess what? It's the right size for your wrench. Oh, isn't that a beauty? Yes. So you can go ahead and do your calibration. Okay. And you can actually do a good job of not spinning the connector as well. Cause you can, you can hold on to the, um, hold on to the center bit here while you're tightening it and you're not going to spin the connector and ruin the center center conductor. So yeah, these guys are great. So I recommend you get some of these guys. Uh, there is seems to be one seller who has these. Now, if you can go this far, then you go to the next step. You put your wheel on this guy. Okay. Now you've got wheel on wheel and everybody's a happy, 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 joy, joy. It, 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 it's great. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. So anyway, this will make my life easier. One little quick little pro tip for you today. Hope it helps somebody.